Hello, I'm Bobby Galuba with ubitech.com and welcome to my 23rd video recorded on Monday, January 1st, 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. In this video, I'm going to do a short product review of SOLs or Survive Outdoor Longer's Fuel-Free Plasma Lighter. Now, I'm not going to show you all the functionality of it, but I'm going to show you the problem mainly that I've discovered with it. Uh, I ordered three of these. Uh, one of them I had sent to a buddy of mine for his birthday, and then two of them I had uh, sent to me. And the lighter itself, so here's, here's one of them that I opened, and it's fully charged. The, you can see the light here is off, so that indicates that it's fully charged. In fact, let's unplug it and see if that light comes back on briefly to indicate uh, that it's charging again. Okay, so you see the light come on. And let's see if it'll shut off here shortly. Give it a little bit. But it should be fully charged. I'm going to wait just a second or so. But uh, what the problem is, is that the uh, flashlight uh, will not work reliably and it's not just on one it's on all three of the units that I purchased um, the few that I had sent to me the flashlight didn't work reliably uh, or doesn't work reliably and uh, my friend told me that he noticed the same thing on the one that I had sent to him so let me see if I can go ahead and demonstrate that all right so I'm not going to wait for it to uh, for the light to go off but it was fully charged so let's go ahead and we'll unplug that. First, I'll demonstrate that the lighter does work. So let's try to get that in focus. Okay, so you can see that the lighter works. And one thing to notice is there's this little, tiny little interlock button right here. And what that is designed to do is so that if you press the button right here, which if the lid is open, it'll turn on the flashlight. It's not supposed to turn on the flashlight when the lid is open. So that works properly. But the problem is, is that when you close the lid, and I'll even put the little latch down there, uh, the flashlight doesn't work reliably. Let me see if I can get it to work. What I had done before is, and you can hear it clicking. Let me try to depress that little interlock button. Got to press this and what I had done before to get it to work is I took the tip of a chopstick here and I pushed down on that little interlock button and let's see if I can get it to work now I'll close the lid again and <clears throat> the flashlight should work with the lid closed so let's see okay so now it's still not Still not working. Okay, so, and this is a brand new unit. Uh, I ordered it in November of 2023. Okay, let me push that down with my hand and see. Okay, so now it's even worse. Let's try again. Let's push it down. Okay, so you can see that the lighter turns on. Let's push it down here with the chopstick and see if I can get the light to come on okay so now it turns on if I push it down okay and it flashes okay but now let's close the lid and see if I can get it to turn on again okay so now it's working and this is the problem that I noticed I would have to push down on it okay so now it's not working again so the I think that interlock switch is not working reliably and so the flashlight does not come on and if I if I apply some pressure to the lid yeah it's not it's not coming on so let's try again we'll push down with the chopstick and see if it comes on okay so I'm pushing down with the chopstick oh, slipped up there a little bit 
let's try again. Okay, let's let's see if I let it let the lighter activate. Okay, so the lighter activates. And notice that the lighter is not activating, which is proper behavior when I depress that button, but the flashlight's also not coming on. Okay, so let's try opening this up here. Let's see if maybe, and I'm not going to take it fully apart, but here's what it looks like inside. And I don't want to dissect it because I plan on returning it to uh, Amazon.com, which is where I bought it from. Yeah, so it's not, it's not working. Let's try one more time. I don't want to get zapped if that... Okay. So there's the lighter. It's working. Let's try the flashlight again. So now even with that depressed, it's not... It's not working reliably. So let's try the other one that's still in the package and hasn't been opened. All right, so before I had to press this probably a good 20 times or so to get it to light up. You can, you can hear it I'm fully depressing it. And this one, I think it's fully charged. I did get it to turn on briefly. Let's keep trying here. Press down on that. Okay, so now this one won't even... Okay, so there we go. Now I got that light to come on, but it's not coming on reliably as it should. So I don't think it's an issue with this button here because these, and you can see it's it's on, it's, not, it's very bright. It doesn't look like it's lacking a charge. So let's open up this one again pop the top and every time I depress it the lighter reliably comes on but the flashlight will not turn on reliably so I've got it depress I've got the lid closed and in that state the flashlight should work okay but it doesn't and kind of applying some pressure there doesn't work very well I Pushing down with the chopstick, it mm, kind of helps sometimes, but you don't want to be out <laughs> in the field, you know, having to push down on it with a chopstick. And so at least two of these units have that problem. So this one still, you know, nice and bright. It's got a good charge on it. This one still, you know, it won't work. And now let's try this other one here. Let's see if we can. Okay, so now... Now it's turning on and off. Now it's working well. But unfortunately, that behavior is not consistent. As you can see before, I pressed it multiple times and it didn't come on. And then my buddy, who I sent one of these to, also said that his... Oh, so there we go. It's not, it's not working reliably. Um, I contacted the company, uh, gave them a call. Here's their their website, uh, survivoutdoorslonger.com. I found a phone number on there that I called, um, left a message, but I never heard anything back from them. Um, but they definitely seem to have a design problem with these things, or maybe it was just a bad batch that I got these from. So at least three of these lighters, two that you can see on this video, uh, the lighter itself on this one works reliably. So I don't think it's the I don't think it's the switch underneath the little black uh, seal here. I think it's uh, the little interlock switch here. So again, when the lighter when the cap on the lighter is open, only the lighter should function, and that's the way it's working properly right now. Okay, but when you close the lid, that flashlight should work, and it doesn't work reliably on these things. Okay, even with that little latch closed doesn't work properly and <clears throat> we'll try this one again so unfortunately it looks like you know um, these do not the, at least the flashlight does not operate reliably the lighter does but not the uh, flashlight so I'm gonna be returning both of these uh, my buddy said he wanted to keep his so hopefully it'll work well for him 
But I just wanted to let you all know that in case you ever, in case you're thinking about buying one of these things. Um, the lighter itself seems to work pretty well, but unfortunately the flashlight does not. So uh, be good to each other. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.